As you can see here, I've created a basic level. Um, nothing really complicated. It's just a path that I've created. It's inverted closed and it's using a rocky terrain material. Okay. What I want to talk about here is doing colliders for terrain like this. Okay. So the easiest thing to do if you go under the, the path terrain component and just check create collider, you can see the edge there turns green, indicating that a, a collider will be generated along these lines. Now, if you look at it, you know, they're, they're okay. They follow everything just about right. The only problem is they don't look that great when you're playing. So, you know, if I'm jumping around here, you can see I, I don't exactly stick to the surfaces where I should. And so this is mostly going to be about that, all right? So I have here offset top, left, right, bottom. And these are, these are actually all that you really need to do the vast majority of this. Okay, so I'm going to say adjust this so that this line is up a little bit here, the offset top, and I'm going to shift that up so about there. Okay, excellent. You can see there, now when I land on it, I'm going to fall in a slightly more reasonable spot. Okay, so with that, you can just go through everything and make sure that all lines up. So if I go to the left side here, um, find a left side that I can view, offset left, shift everything over, halfway through there, offset right on these edges, da, 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 da. and then offset bottom for the, the tops here. Da, da. And here we go. And that should look significantly better. Alright, so now if I hop around, you can see I stick to the walls about where I probably should visually. And you can tweak these all sorts of ways and make sure that it all looks good to you on your material. Every material is going to be different, but that's all that you really need to know. Um, note here, uh, colliders are not created um, in the editor, they don't actually come into play until you start the game and where it can generates the the colliders afterwards Okay, so don't worry if that doesn't show up right away Okay, the other thing is collider width collider width determines like how far along the z-axis the the collider is created that way if you if you have multiple colliders perhaps close to each, multiple terrain pieces on the z-axis, perhaps close to each other, you can play with that and make sure that works. Or if you have a large object or objects that, that may be colliding on this plane, you can do whatever you want with that. Um, another thing to note, if I switch this from inverted closed to regular closed, the collider still behaves the same way. You can see that this is basically inverted from where you would want it. So you'll have to go through and readjust that um, differently for inverted versus regular materials. Okay, so something to keep in mind. Each collider is per the individual terrain rather than for the material. There we go.